You read the video title, you know what time it is. In this video, I show you how to make two different sugar scrubs, one with brown sugar and one with white sugar. So if you're interested in learning, stay tuned. Welcome back to Whitney Styles YouTube channel. All of the details will be in the description box below, but let's get started with the first organic light brown sugar recipe. The star of the show is light brown sugar. I'll also use organic extra virgin olive oil. I know this is a huge container. I use this for everything. You'll also need a lemon, actually only half of a lemon, but you can't buy half of a lemon, so you know. Lavender essential oil is the last thing I use in this recipe. The extra virgin olive oil will be used to replenish the moisture in your skin. It's a really good base for a sugar scrub because it doesn't solidify like a coconut oil would, for instance. I measure a fourth cup of oil and pour it in the bowl. Next, I add lavender oil. Lavender is used to treat anxiety, insomnia, depression, and restlessness. So add four to six drops of that. It's not safe to apply essential oils directly to your skin. You have to dilute them in some type of carrier oil. So that's why I mix in my essential oil with my olive oil as the start to this recipe. Now it's time to add the brown sugar. So I grab a one cup measuring cup. If you're loyal to my channel, then you already know what I'm about to say. I like to use organic products whenever possible. Put that in quotes. The texture of organic brown sugar is slightly different than your traditional brown sugar though. So yeah, just pour your brown sugar into your one cup measuring cup. Pack it in there. So that's what I'm doing here. Just using my fingers to press the brown sugar into the measuring cup, trying to get as close to one cup as possible. And then pour your brown sugar into your oil mixture. Next, I grab an everyday kitchen spoon to stir it up. So my goal here is just to ensure that all of the brown sugar particles are covered with the oil. While you're stirring the mixture around, you might notice that the brown sugar is starting to clump up. So you can also use that spoon to break up any large clumps of sugar and oil that you may see in your mixture. And this is what it will look like for now. But wait, there's more. We still have to add the lemon. Grab a sharp knife and your cutting mat and cut your lemon in half. We're only going to use half for this recipe. While I was at the grocery store, I was feeling fancy and I picked up a lemon squeezer. Before I made this video, I should have watched a YouTube video about how to properly use it because I put my lemon slice in wrong. I also should have used a bigger bowl to catch the lemon juice in. I was thinking that there's three little holes at the bottom. All of the juice will come out of the bottom, but the juice poured out of the side, probably because I'm using the tool wrong. I should have known I was doing this wrong because I was like, there's more juice in my lemon. Why isn't this juice being extracted from the lemon? So I gave it another squeeze before I just gave up. Look, we got a few more drops out of it. One thing I got right is that the lemon squeezer did capture all of the seeds. The joke's on me, I'll be the donkey of the day today, but from this point forward, I hope that every time you see a lemon squeezer, you think of me. I add lemon juice to my recipe because it's acidic and it also contains vitamin C. So it's a natural toner to help treat dark spots and brighten your skin. But if you have sensitive skin, you might wanna just skip the lemon juice and add more extra virgin olive oil or something like grapeseed oil to make sure you have the right balance of sugar and liquid. So just mix it up and this is what it'll look like. I use this recipe as a lip scrub and then I also apply it to other areas of my skin that I wanna brighten up. So be sure to stay tuned until the very end of this video if you wanna see how I use it. So now I'm going to use a metal spoon to transfer the contents of the body scrub from the clear mixing bowl to this cute little mason jar. And I like to use mason jars because it's airtight storage. I store this recipe in the refrigerator to prevent mold or bacteria from growing. So this is my favorite recipe for DIY sugar scrubs. It looks good, it smells good, it tastes good. But if you wanna see another way to make a DIY sugar scrub, then stay tuned for my recipe using coconut oil. Recipe number two has three simple ingredients. Well, really two because the essential oil is optional. Starting out with my oil, today I'm using extra virgin organic coconut oil. I use the cold pressed oil so it starts out really hard. I'm going to measure a cup of that into a mixing bowl. I start out using a metal kitchen spoon to dig out the coconut oil from the original container into my one cup measuring cup. You can make this process easier by warming up your entire container of coconut oil until it's soft enough to pour into a measuring cup. 
but I'm currently on quarantine. The gym is closed, so we're just gonna consider this my arm workout for the day. So pack your coconut oil into one cup and then transfer that cold pressed coconut oil into your glass mixing bowl. I pop the coconut oil in the microwave for 45 to 60 seconds depending on your microwave. I do need the coconut oil to be soft so that I can mix in both my essential oils and my sugar. So after 60 seconds, this is what my coconut oil looks like. I'm gonna give this a quick stir just to break down some of those larger chunks of coconut oil that are still floating around in my bowl, but then also to help this oil cool down before I add my other ingredients. Next, I'm gonna add my peppermint essential oil. Peppermint is one of my favorite scents of all time, but in addition to it smelling really good, it helps to release muscle tension, close pores, and tighten skin. So add four to six drops of that. I mix the oils up with my spoon to ensure that the peppermint oil is diluted into the coconut oil. Now it's time to add the granulated sugar, so I grab a 1 4th cup measuring cup, and then I start adding the sugar to the coconut oil. With the first round of sugar, I add 3 4 cup, and then I stir it around. In the next couple minutes of this video, you're going to see me adding the sugar in stages, and I do this for a few different reasons. The first reason is because if you add too much sugar too fast, the sugar will dissolve in the coconut oil and that'll be a big mess. The second reason is because I like to have control, so I like to check the consistency of my sugar scrub throughout the process. You can always add more sugar, but you can't take sugar out if you add too much too soon. And the third reason is because I know that some people don't like to use specific measurements. Some people prefer to just eyeball things. So I want to show the viewers what this sugar scrub looks like every step of the way from 3 fourths cup up until my final measurement. So in total, I will add 1 and 3 fourths cup of the white granulated sugar to the coconut oil to make this recipe. If you decide to make this recipe at home, remember that the coconut oil will solidify as it cools. And one other thing to remember is that if you don't add enough sugar, the sugar will just dissolve into whatever oil that you're using. Okay, after that long drawn out explanation, this is the consistency that I like for my white sugar body scrub. I like to ensure that there is enough sugar in my scrubs because the sugar is what's used to exfoliate your skin and get rid of those dead skin cells. So now I'm just going to grab another mason jar and pack it full of the white sugar body scrub. This scrub does not have to be refrigerated. Compared to the first recipe, I pretty much have twice as much of the white sugar scrub. I did that on purpose because I plan to give this away as a gift. These mason jars are perfect for gift giving. But if you don't need all of this, then feel free to cut the recipe in half. The mason jars are cute and all, but sometimes plastic Tupperware is the way to go because it's more practical. Especially if you plan to take your scrub in the shower with you. This coconut scrub is also really good to use for your at-home pedicures. If you want details on the mason jars that I use, they are by the brand Baw. They are 8 ounces each and they come 4 in a pack. Oh, and I got them from Meyer. I use the brown sugar scrub to exfoliate my lips and then the area around it. Remember that this scrub has lemon juice in it, which is good for fading dark marks. But I do not use sugar scrubs on my entire face because the sugar crystals can be too abrasive. Instead, I use a honey and oat soap. If you want to check out my full skincare routine, I will link that in the card above. To apply the sugar scrub to the rest of my body, I hop in the shower. So I grab the shower head and I dampen my skin with water. And then I grab some of my sugar scrub and I apply it to my body in circular motions. If you're doing this in the shower, then be careful because the sugar scrub will drip into the bottom of your tub and it can be really slippery. I also use the brown sugar scrub on areas like my elbow, so spots that are normally dark that I want to try to brighten up. You know I keep it all the way real on this here channel, so speaking of dark spots, don't forget to exfoliate your underarm. This is really helpful for preventing ingrown hairs, especially if you shave your underarms. Now I'm switching over to my coconut scrub, which is really good for your feet. For most people, the heel of your foot is really dry, so I always start there. And then I also work the scrub up into my ankles and then in between each of my toes as well. I'm getting rid of all that dead skin. Be sure to rub the scrub in the area underneath your toes as well. It's safe to exfoliate your skin with a sugar scrub once per week. When you're in the shower, once you're done applying the scrub, be sure to rinse it off with warm water. 
and then follow up by patting your skin dry with a clean towel and using your favorite moisturizer. If you like this video, be sure to let me know by giving me a thumbs up and dropping me some comments. So until we meet again.